Hamilton's future seems to have taken its final turn after a great Spanish Grand Prix for the Silver Arrows. The seven-time world champion sent out a big warning to Red Bull that is sure to raise some eyebrows in the paddock, seeing the situation currently on the grid. With his contract coming to an end, we might see a conclusion to that drama as well very soon, maybe until the end of next week. How did Mercedes manage to turn things around and what does that mean for the future of the Brackley team? Join us in an action-packed video as we delve deeper into the current Hamilton and Mercedes state of affairs. The Spanish GP could only have gone better for Mercedes if they had actually won, as both Hamilton and Russell finished P2 and P3 respectively, locking out the podium and beating Sergio Perez, which is a massive feat in and of itself since he's driving the RB19, arguably the most dominant car out there since the W11. With this performance, Mercedes sent out a big statement that they are in pole position to be the second best team on the grid, with Ferrari and Aston Martin now having to play catch-up. This is a great setup for the imminent contract extension for Hamilton, since as he stated after the race, it only requires for him and Toto Wolff to sit for a coffee and he believes they will be able to sort some things out. This is unbelievably good news, not only for the team, but for its fans as well who are desperate for another title challenge after 2021, having been used to winning from the start of the turbo hybrid era. Hamilton extension will also shut down all of the rumors flying around that he will join Ferrari next season and potentially swap places with Charles Leclerc. Hamilton was very confident after the race, going as far as saying that Mercedes are getting closer to Red Bull, albeit still being far, and urged the team to continue the great work in the factory in Brackley. With the current car we have, I don't think we'll be matching their performance, but we are working on improving the car," explained Hamilton. With the current package, we're limited to the pace that we had today, but there's a huge amount of work in studying and improvements that we hopefully will have coming in the future. Naturally, they should probably also be progressing through the year, so we need to be taking big chunks out of them with every step we take. Hamilton further explained that he expects Mercedes to be able to challenge Red Bull by the end of the season, which is extremely optimistic, seeing how big of a difference the Austrian team has in comparison to the rest of the grid. During the Monaco Grand Prix, Mercedes introduced a significant upgrade package for their car, which included new side pods and a new suspension. However, due to the unique characteristics of the Monaco circuit, they couldn't gather as much useful data compared to a more conventional track, like Barcelona. Hamilton praised the new W14, saying that it's far better than the W13 ever was and that the morale boost will be great for everyone. In the 2022 season, Mercedes had a strong performance at the Spanish Grand Prix as well, with George Russell achieving a third-place finish. And despite a setback on the opening lap, Lewis Hamilton managed to secure fifth place. However, their success was short-lived as they faced difficulties throughout the rest of the season and Hamilton, a highly accomplished driver, experienced a winless Formula 1 campaign for the first time in his career. His most recent victory took place in December 2021 at the Saudi Arabian Grand Prix. Hamilton expressed his hopes that Mercedes could enhance the overall performance of their car in order to narrow the gap to Red Bull, their main competitor. They normally say if you are quick in Barcelona, the car should generally be good everywhere. I think we will be strong in the next races," he added. There will be times when the Aston is maybe slightly ahead or the Ferrari maybe is ahead, but I think our race pace continues to be a strength of ours, as it was last year. I think this weekend particularly we understand the car even more, so we can count on that being strong moving forwards. One cannot help but wonder if there's a little bit of truth in what Hamilton is saying in terms of catching up to Red Bull. As we all know, Red Bull will be hit with wind tunnel and cost cap restrictions towards the middle of this season, which will further lower the gap they have over the rest of the grid. This, compared with Perez's inconsistency, might prove to be vital in the Constructors' Championship if not this season, then certainly for the next one. Red Bull might have it easy now, but it's not all sunshine and rainbows, that is certain. Mercedes's double podium in Spain saw them jump Aston Martin in the Constructors' Championship to move into second place by 18 points, and Toto Wolff said Mercedes needed a wake-up call earlier in the season but that the W14 is now a good car. Let's keep our expectations real. There's such a long way to go in order to catch Red Bull. We just need to grind away," Wolf told Sky Sports F1. 
It's a good moment to see that the development direction is right. We just need to chip away and we are really good at grinding. Once there's a setup direction and development direction, we will just go for it. We have that advantage of development time. Today, the temperature suited us, not too hot, not too cold. The car was in a mega window. While Horner took a subtle dig at Mercedes, saying the difference is still 23 seconds and they have aces up their sleeves to improve, Verstappen stated that he thinks it's great for the sport in general if we have more teams fighting for the top spots. He expects that next season there will be more than one team fighting for wins race in, race out. Mercedes were always the biggest rivals to Red Bull, simply because they have all the necessary components to be a strong contender for the championship. The key has always been finding the right development path, which is no easy task, especially considering the mistakes and setbacks Mercedes has faced in this era. However, as demonstrated in 2022, Mercedes possesses impressive development capabilities and has shown the ability to make significant progress during the season. This is something Ferrari has struggled with for much of the past decade, and while Ferrari and Aston Martin have made notable progress, Mercedes remains the biggest threat to Red Bull. Ferrari may still require further structural and cultural changes, and Aston Martin's ability to consistently challenge at the front is still uncertain, particularly as they have only one driver capable of regularly challenging the Red Bulls with equal machinery. In contrast, Mercedes has two drivers capable of fighting for the championship and has proven expertise in making in-season improvements. And although the current threat for Mercedes may not be as dominant as it has been in the past, with Verstappen displaying a significant advantage, Mercedes has consistently appeared to be the closest challenger to Red Bull in the long run. Looking ahead, Mercedes has great potential to make significant progress and holds a lot of promise for the near future. It's still too early to make definitive conclusions, but if they continue their current trajectory in the upcoming races in Canada and Austria, it could be safely said that they are the second strongest team on the grid. Moreover, the psychological aspect plays a role here, with the possibility of Lewis Hamilton signing a new contract, which would boost team morale and improve the atmosphere in Brackley. I am confident that these positive factors will have a positive impact on their performance on the track. Also, if we're talking in terms of the depth of quality in each of the teams and their recent pedigree, it's obvious that Red Bull and Mercedes are in a league of their own. Mercedes have had a blip, but having gained more understanding, swallowed their pride and changed course, it would not surprise me at all to see them make a lot of progress over the rest of the season. As for Ferrari and Aston Martin, they may not have had their best showing in Barcelona. However, they're now facing immense pressure for Mercedes to perform at their best. Leclerc and Sainz struggle a lot in the SF23 and Stroll is not as consistent as Alonso, no matter how much we sugarcoat it. The battle for the second best team will certainly be interesting to watch if we instead do not witness a dominant championship fight from Max Verstappen and Sergio Perez, which is as of now very unlikely to to happen. What do you think? Can Mercedes turn it around completely and, as Hamilton says, challenge Red Bull even by the end of the season? Let us know your thoughts and opinions in the comments below, and we will see you next time.